हेलो पीपल इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस लुक एट अक्यूट किडनी इंजरी और अक्यूट रीनल फेलियर अक्यूट किडनी फेलियर नाउ दे आर कॉलिंग इट एज इंजरी दे आर नॉट कॉलिंग द वर्ड फेलियर ओके अक्यूट रीनल फेलियर इज ओल्ड टर्म सो दिस इज सडन एंड रिवर्सिबल लॉस ऑफ रीनल फंक्शन ओके सो रिमेंबर व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज अ रिवर्सिबल लॉस ऑफ रीनल फंक्शन इट इज सडन दैट्स व्हाई अक्यूट देयर इज रिडक्शन इन यूरिन वॉल्यूम व्हाई व्हाई कैन देयर बी रिडक्शन इन यूरिन वॉल्यूम so here they are saying that there are three causes <clears throat> what are the three causes so the three causes are so here is your kidney there's a pre renal cause <clears throat> there's a renal cause and there's a post renal cause okay so there's a pre renal cause renal cause and a post renal cause okay so pre renal means the input to the kidney is less hence the urine output is less so why is the input to the kidney less the input to the kidney is less because the blood supply is less okay so there is the heart failure has happened so the blood is not coming enough <clears throat> sepsis blood loss that is hypovolemia this person has dehydration so again low blood volume vascular occlusion so there is some occlusion in the vessel that is feeding the kidney so all this can lead to pre renal kidney injury acute kidney injury now let us look at renal okay now renal means what uh, something to do with the glomerular uh, filtration etc so there can be glomerulonephritis there can be some small vessel vasculitis acute tubular necrosis which they call as atn acute tubular necrosis some drugs some toxins can lead to acute tubular necrosis prolonged hypertension interstitial nephritis again drugs toxins inflammatory disease infection okay so all that will cause problem here so the filtration is not happening so this is renal cause okay of acute kidney injury now can you say uh, ki uh, acute kidney injury kidney injury say the renal causes means what will you say the renal causes are yes a uh, glomerular nephritis very good interstitial nephritis very good then vasculitis or something small small um, <clears throat> vessel vasculitis yes acute tubular necrosis very good and all this can happen because of some infection drugs toxins inflammation prolonged hypotension so prolonged hypotension will be will be a pre pre renal after some time because of blood supply being bad to the kidney kidney also will stop working okay so pre renal can lead to renal okay now let us go to post renal post renal means <clears throat> after the kidney so from here from uh, uh, this uh, collecting duct onwards let us say okay from here so it's all urine yellow color we are using okay from here so basically <clears throat> there could be some kidney stones okay there can be some retroperitoneal fibrosis because kidney is a retroperitoneal organ right and some benign prostatic enlargement the prostate has enlarged here so there is obstruction basically bladder cancer prostate cancer cervical cancer urethral stricture cervical cancer happens in women right prostate cancer in men <clears throat> urethral stricture then meatal stenosis phimosis so all this will lead to obstruction so obstruction means what will happen there is increased pressure in the kidney right so uh, because of which the glomerular filtration will not work so everything is finally affecting the kidney pre renal also can affect the kidney post renal also can affect the kidney okay so these are the causes of acute kidney injury these people can have some associated conditions like heart disease and uh, diabetes etc so you should check all that okay how will you manage these people based on what the cause is right if they have hypovolemia then you can give them blood or <clears throat> any fluids etc right then if heart is not fine then you can give some inotropic drugs right then <clears throat> if there is fluid overload then you can give diuretic diuretics right then they are giving calcium rhesonium to stabilize the heart glucose and insulin to correct hyperkalemia so they are giving glucose and insulin with glucose with insulin so both they are giving glucose and insulin they are giving to correct hyperkalemia very important here okay <clears throat> then uh, they are talking about dialysis is it consider administering sodium bicarbonate if there is acidosis so you will give what guys you will give so far they talked about calcium then glucose with insulin then you can do dialysis for this people sodium bicarbonate to correct acidosis you'll discontinue nephrotoxic drugs 
okay reduce the drugs of uh, reduce the dose of other drugs because your kidney is not working at the moment <clears throat> nutritional support if there are infections treat the infection <clears throat> if there is obstruction remove the obstruction so overall we told you about acute kidney failure or kidney uh, injury okay when you say chronic right it is irreversible uh, deterioration of the uh, renal function remember it is irreversible and it develops over a period of years chronic happens because of diabetes interstitial disease glomerular disease hypertension will cause chronic kidney disease remember hypo we were talking about acute then systemic inflammatory diseases like systemic lupus erythematosus sle people will have kidney problem you remember that right then some congenital unknown renovascular disease etc so basically diabetes hypertension will lead to chronic kidney disease remember even sle sle diabetes and hypertension see whenever somebody has uh, their kidney is not working properly they will have raised urea and creatinine levels very important to note if they have metabolic acidosis they can have kusumal's breathing deep breathing how will you manage um, uh, chronic kidney disease you'll monitor the renal function you'll try to slow the damage you will limit the complications because of renal failure you'll treat the vascular cardiovascular disease diabetes hypertension systemic lupus erythematosus etc and they're talking about prepare for rrt if appropriate what is rrt it's nothing but dialysis guys so you are using uh, blood from patient you're giving dialysate then it is pulling out everything that's bad and pushing in whatever is required to be sent and then the blood is put back to the patient okay so this is dialysis uh, renal replacement therapy so remember in the according to the textbook acute is a reversible condition and chronic is a irreversible condition okay